Did you ever wonder why there was so much debris from ancient structures, especially in the Egypt region? All across Egypt, there is just that. Debris from buildings and structures that were devastated during a cataclysmic event. Perhaps even more incredible than all the debris is the fact that even more spectacular ancient wonders could very well still be hidden under the sand and the dirt that a comet strike would have thrown up into the atmosphere. When it came to rest, it covered massive areas that could still hold answers to the greatest questions in human history. So wait till you hear this. Yet another stunning example of ancient technology and higher understanding has been uncovered in the area surrounding the Saqqara necropolis. Archaeologists state that this is the single largest fragment of an ancient stone monument ever found in all of Egypt and one of the oldest. It is thought to have stood around five to six meters when it was first constructed and so-called experts are already rushing to give us their estimate age of the piece to 4,500 years, but we believe this in fact is false and the true age of ancient monuments like this one found in the Saqqara necropolis could have an age far greater reaching than what these guys will ever admit to. Indentations on the top of the obelisk seem to suggest that it was covered in gold making the sun reflect off its tip. Researchers have been excavating the Saqqara necropolis for several decades. It is home to numerous pyramids, including the world-famous Step Pyramid of Djoser, sometimes referred to as the Step Tomb due to its rectangular base. This is just one more area which suggests that something with an almighty force of impact blew these structures apart, much like the casing stone of the Great Pyramid and the stone boxes of Elephantine Island. It all suggests a terrific impact of an unimaginable scale. And what exactly are the stone boxes of Elephantine Island, you have to wonder. Again, we see scattering as if something suddenly happened here, but at least there are a few boxes still intact. Their purpose? Nobody really has any idea. What do you guys think? Our history is certainly being suppressed. We are missing out on the true knowledge of our civilization in place of lies. You have to ask yourself why this is, but at the same time, consider the governments may only be withholding ancient knowledge to keep control. If the knowledge is so great that they would lose the power struggle, then imagine on what kind of scale this knowledge may be. If it could change everything just like that, then it must be like a key to the human subconscious. Just a thought. By the way, have you guys ever thought what it would be like to coexist with dinosaurs? What if we were to tell you that before the comet strike of 12,500 years ago, there is evidence humans and dinosaurs did in fact coexist. This not only proves that our far-reaching historical line of millions of years may be false, but also our short-range history of 5,000 years is false. They say we went from being cavemen to building pyramids overnight, yet the proof just keeps stacking up that a far more advanced civilization existed on Earth and the cataclysm acts as a historical extermination point. Thousands of researchers are convinced that there is enough evidence to at least suggest that in the distant past, mankind and dinosaurs lived alongside on Earth. So where's that conclusive evidence? Well, if we take a look at written and oral legends, we will find stories of incredible creatures in nearly every ancient culture around the globe. Legends of dragons are found among many ancient cultures which developed on Earth thousands of years ago. There are stories of dragons in ancient China. We have the stories of Bell and the dragon and the culta of Australian Aborigines. We also have St. George and the dragon. Interestingly, some of their descriptions would fit perfectly in the anatomical descriptions of certain dinosaurs. These descriptions seem to match what we know from the fossil evidence of certain dinosaurs. But in addition to fossil records and legends found in nearly all corners of the world, we have cave paintings, figurines, and carvings which clearly show that dinosaurs may have lived alongside humans on Earth. In Montana, a Triceratops brow horn was discovered that has been controversial. Dating back to around 33,500 years, officially challenging the idea that dinosaurs went extinct some 66 million years ago. 
This discovery, like many others, suggests that mankind coexisted on Earth with dinosaurs in the distant past. If we take a look at a carving found on the Cambodian Thai Pran Temple, we will notice a supposed carving of a Stagosaurus, or at least something that eerily resembles it, prompting many authors and researchers to suggest that dinosaurs and mankind coexisted not that long ago. And then there are, of course, the Ica Stones. These stones are the most controversial and point to humans and dinosaurs coexisting beyond doubt. The enigmatic stones were discovered in Peru and allegedly depict the use of electromagnetic energy, pyramids, space travel, men looking at the stars with binoculars, the study of ancient petroglyphs, and most shockingly, maps of our planet as it was 13 million years ago. Does that not just completely blow your mind or what? The stones were found in 1961 by farmers beneath the sands of the vast desert of the Peruvian coast. So there you have it. More proof that suggests our historical timeline is not only that of a confusing one, but is now a mix and match of what we have been spoon-fed to believe. We may not have all the answers, guys, but for now at least, we have the questions. We would love to hear what you think about this, so please comment below. Thank you for watching.